Uh, I'm Evan, and I'm a theater artist and academic. I look after our creative expressions courses here, and I also look after the arts education occupational track. So I'll be hanging around and talk more to those of you who are interested in the arts. But for now, I'm going to talk about creative expressions, known as CRX. So these, these courses are uh, required, and students get to choose among the offerings. So currently, we have 30 courses on offer, and uh, these courses run three hours a week. Students will get a chance to take it uh, in the beginning of their first year and the end of their second year. So one cluster of courses we offer are ecological in nature. Tales, uh, Forest Tales really looks at the understanding of forest ecology through the lens of folk arts of communities that live in forest areas. This course in foraging is about local foodways and how do you identify wild food, cook and prepare traditional recipes from it. And furthering that understanding of our relationship to food is our organic gardening course. And when you do the campus tour, I'm sure you'll get a chance to see our organic garden next to the Milwaukee forest. And here, over the course of the semester, students prepare the soil, plant the seeds, garden, reflect on their relationship to nature and um, hopefully harvest and cook something at the end. We have a cluster of courses in emotional health. These are really about um, using the arts to look at health and well-being. How do we promote mental health through the creative arts therapies? And another course about regulating our emotional selves. This is about body-based awareness of our emotions and to increase one's emotional intelligence through self-reflection. We have a cluster of courses that are about movement, one is yin yoga and sound. This is how do we listen within and how do we listen to our surroundings through yoga and field recording. We have a course in postural skills, which employs the Alexander technique of body awareness, which is commonly used in actor training. And we have a cluster of sports and fitness courses that students can choose from, uh, which includes basketball in an inclusive sense. You don't already need to be great at basketball. All our sports and fitness courses have an emphasis on inclusivity in the sports space. Racket sports is looking at three different types of racket sports and the speed and dexterity that's required, so juggling is also a part of that. Our functional fitness course um, looks at setting fitness goals and developing one's own fitness practice. And our football uh, course has the heaviest emphasis on inclusivity and looking at how do we kind of interrupt traditional competitive dynamics in order to create a welcoming space on the field. Uh, run, Eat, Sleep, Repeat uh, is a very popular course and has an organized run at the end. Silambatam is this uh, traditional martial art from Tamil Nadu and uh, students really love that course. Within performing arts, we have the full gamut as well. Uh, the Body Remembers is a theater course which works with text and floor work creating a play that will be performed at the end of the semester. Shadow Liberation Theater, this is my course. And we use shadow theater in, in improvisation to dialogue about uh, gender and sexuality. Our playback theater and community building course uh, really looks at using personal stories in theater to build a sense of community. Our contemporary performance art course looks at how do we embody nature and our relationship to nature, and students developing site-specific performances. And poetry and performance course is about how do we turn mystical poet poems into dance pieces. Uh, breakdancing uh, is also popular, and the students went to a battle, a breakdancing battle in the city last weekend. Uh, our debatable bodies, uh, this is about using spoken word poetry to talk about um, identity. And we have a cluster of sound and music courses as well. So singing a memory, uh, is a song writing and singing course, which also uses um, some ensemble techniques. Noteworthy Choir teaches sight reading of Western musical notation and then has a chamber choral performance at the end. Understanding Rhythms uh, is more than just a drumming course. This course is an opportunity to pick up on patterns and rhythms, learn them across different percussive instruments. Guitar doesn't guarantee that you'll know how to play guitar, but if you practice outside of class, you might get it by the end of the semester. Uh, sound, music, and acoustics is really about the physics of sound and building one's own instrument. That course happens in our physics lab. Uh, our arts and crafts courses include a visual art exploration across different visual art 
media where students can develop a journal and a portfolio over the course of a semester. Our photography course also gives students a chance to develop a photography portfolio looking at documentary techniques. Creative crochet students will crochet and create an uh, installation out of uh, the crochet art forms. And our woodworking studio students have already made boxes. Let's see if they get to shelves this semester. This is a new addition. And uh, creative expressions with clay. We have clay building. We have the ability to throw on wheels. We have a kiln and glazing facilities as well. So if you'd like to see the outcome of this semester's work by our students, if you live nearby, please scan the QR code and register. You can come next month. Uh, it's a Thursday evening from 5 to 7 p.m., the 23rd of November. And uh, you can check out what our students have created at the CRX Mela. Thank you.